nothing like them pictures of warriors I'm used to seeing. Another Dr. Uh, Dr. Bill's story is so compelling, uh, not only for young people to understand the history of this moment in the civil rights movement, but it's important for young people to understand how young people change the world, and that young people have been changing the world uh, since the beginning, since there have been a series of injustices, kids, young people who have had their ears open to what's been going on in the world have been able to create truly effective change. You feel me? Stay here if you feel me. Having uh, a character call your girl <laughs> is the putting those kids literally on the stage and letting Melba's story filter directly through their contemporary experience. And so that's why this character is here. That's why we put a, literally Melba comes into the body <laughs> of your girl and takes it over and we put the past and the future, like we fuse them together. The cool thing about working with Theatre Works USA is that they have challenged us to update this piece, to bring this uh, piece alive for young audience, young contemporary audiences. And I'm excited that they wanted to go down this, this avenue. I concur. I'm excited about the challenge that, that, that has been put on the table between the artists, the organization, the audiences, and that the Works USA is sort of up for it. Trying to be a warrior feel what a real one is because I have never seen one in the flesh and I know that they can't cry real tears like I cry. So the spoken word, which is a poem, mm -hmm. which means that it is condensed and it is like you've put the most essential language possible on the page. It's part of the culture of activism, the spoken word artistry. Yeah. It, has, it has a really long history. Um, so I wanted to kind of um, lend my voice to that and give you know, that sense of history as well. Well, the future looks a lot brighter because these warriors who are fighting look like me. And those warriors look like you.